So they dried out a little bit in Arizona. It happens really quick. The only thing I'm not sure about the black hands because they are not very visible. I think it was a mistake. I think if you take like a glimpse um, while you walk by it, it has to be um, like visible right away without any pressure on your eyes, without any kind of efforts. So I might take it out. I'm not sure if it will be coming out anymore. But yeah. So that uh, mesh, I decided to put around that it would make it um, uh, that like, like, like a seconds kind of seconds um, notches um, all around the clock. How I was doing, I was gonna make it with a uh, coins but now uh, I got this coins to pick out so I'm not gonna do it anymore so that one would go like around uh, implicating that the second second hands like pointing at it and also for some reason it's probably catching some yeah it does catch so I have to take it out anyways in order to straighten up the handles again because the one fell fell down and it's still showing at 8 a.m. Yeah, okay, it's my first experience after being out for so long. I'm not gonna be hard on myself. So just um, place that little thing around, place the mesh around. Oh, I love doing this. That's uh, my best favorite. Uh, when I was working every day uh, at the office, for one thing, I was very suffering from being sitting all day long. I can't do that. My body goes nuts. My body goes out of shape. I'm gaining tons of weight. It's not for me. Office job, I can't. I mean, it's not for everybody. Don't get me spoiled. Uh, don't uh, think that I'm just spoiled, but that it's like, it's like, it's my life, right? I have rights to uh have it how i want it and uh, i can organize it how i want it so do you so no judge on that don't judge me on that but i'm saying that it's bad for anybody everybody sitting down jobs is not good for a body that's why we have this civilization all sick and not normal psychologically not normal everybody's on depression pills and it's like uh it's not a depression it's the sitting down uh, body position like uh, you can't be seated for so long like as long as eight hours how many hours I, I was doing every day eight hours or so that's incredibly awful that's really really like way 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 much when anybody can take I mean anybody's body can take so that that's why I'm saying that when I was in Russia, I was only for a reason to have a healthy lifestyle. Uh, healthy lifestyle, that was it. That was nothing but that. Oh, I see, cut in here. Oh, I see where it got cut. It got cut in here, not like underneath another handle. So I see what I need to do. I need to take this out and cut a little bit of that handle or even maybe even just put another color that it would be more visible it's like a whitish kind of uh, color because black on black pretty much turns out to be black on black oh no didn't want that okay that I think that comes out gorgeous comes out great and it gives it that finished look so just do this and I'm gonna cut me off. I better close the glue every time I do something. So uh, then I'm gonna cut another mesh for myself. That was the greatest discovery of all times, the mesh like this. Because you can cut it in any ways. You can use it like even one bead out of all of that, or even like two or any. It has a diamond shape. I love it. I got it on a craft show. God, what year was that like 2012 or something or 11 I don't know 
And since that, I keep buying them and keep using them. That was the greatest idea ever. And maybe I should go around each clock. Let's see, maybe around somewhere here and there. Yeah, that, that will work as a decoration. So I'm coming up with new idea. New ideas and new ideas every minute. Like I said, as soon as I get into it, it's hard to stop. Because I was like so missing it in Russia. Oh my God, oh my God. I never knew it's gonna be that hard. I was doing creative job over there too, don't get me wrong. But I think I love the most, the kind of thing. And again, it's sitting down, it's not an office, it's sitting down still. But then, you know, you do crafting, you love it, and you're sitting down, but you know what for. If you're sitting down and spoiling your body for somebody who has a business, it's not good. I'm lucky I have a great boyfriend who lets me travel back and forth. And he comes and visits me in Russia too. He loves it. Uh, we spent on a beach for about what well, we did like four months, two months. We spent on a beach, and he was doing his work from home, from the computer. And he was supporting me, uh, like mentally and uh, with financially. Really appreciate that. And uh, just I got very lucky. Oh, I got what I wanted in this life. If I would want something different, I would probably get it too. That's how it goes. That's how it works. You want something, you set your goal, and you go for it. It's all there is to it. It's his favorite saying. He's usually saying, it's all there is to it. I was like, yeah, Sam, it's all there is to it. It's like formula, huh? Okay, cutting a mesh again. Let's see if I'm even recording. Okay, I... nice and sunny day in Arizona. Very happy. Everybody's with the um, I forgot the name. Uh, in a quarantine, everybody was asked to put themselves at home. Don't go to the store if no needed. Don't go anywhere if no needed. All restaurants and all the cafes are closed. And anywhere we can go, probably go to Mexico just to have a birthday dinner or take out. Our favorite restaurant is a Monkey Burger. So we do go over there every once in a while and I wanted to go for my birthday in two days to that monkey burger but my, uh, they turned out to be closed for the coronavirus sucks this coronavirus messed up my birthday i can tell you that much and i'm not happy about that because you know i flew all the way over the ocean and another side of the world to celebrate my birthday with my boyfriend and next thing you know my favorite restaurant is closed down what the hell I don't like that. I don't like being restricted with anything. I know, I know, you'll say spoiled, spoiled, spoiled. But we can take, get a takeout from Monkey Burger. I guess it's not a big deal. Monkey Burger. Monkey Burgers. Monkey Burgers. Really good stuff, you guys. If you don't know what it is, I will highly recommend you to try that out. It's unbelievable it's like burgers they have they could they, okay they come on a bun and they come on a lid or you can um, uh, kind of place in it avocado or place on it um, baked um, or fried eggplant or anything you want or salsa or more traditional American burger anything you want those guys are unbelievable so worth flying all over the world to have that restaurant going and what an irony that it's not even open. Yeah. I tried to fly on 28th of um, January. Didn't work out. I tried to fly on 13th of uh, November. Didn't work out. 
I tried to fly on um, 29th of May back there. Didn't work out. Uh, that's when my boyfriend got very pissed that I didn't come. But okay, if I didn't feel like it, it didn't work out, I stayed there for a little longer. I'm sorry. Yeah, he didn't break up with me over that. I, I know I know anybody probably would, but no, he didn't. He was a really good guy. Appreciate him a lot. So, and I finally picked the date, 13th of uh, March. It turns out to be Trump is closing the border on that day. I mean, for travels from Europe. It's not like they wouldn't let me in, but it would be harder. They would have to measure my temperature and all kinds of crap like that, what I don't like. I don't like touches. Like, honestly, I don't like somebody touching me. Like, if somebody's not related to me. For me, it's a torture to go through the customs from LA to Tucson. From Moscow to LA, it's great. You fly overseas um, for uh, what, 12 hours, 13 hours, but nobody touches you. It's great. It's awesome. But as soon as you wanted to fly domestically, Tucson to LA to Tucson or Tucson to LA, you're going to be touched all kinds. And, oh, guys, it's awful. They are like getting their hands all over you, all over your hands, all, all over everywhere. Things got no cavities. But still, still, it's horrible. And I barely can stand it. I usually even break to tears. Like, okay, what can I do? It's like a harassment. They, you have to handle it. You have to let them. You know that you can't refuse. You have to, absolutely have to let them. But I'm psychologically not that healthy to let anybody touch me, especially now. I was kind of fine when I was younger, but now I don't know what happened to me. I can't deal with that. And so my boyfriend picked me up at the airport. He brought me there. He brought me without flying. He was driving me for, what was it, 16 hours, guys. 16 hours he was driving me from LA to Tucson. That was horrible. That was, oh, for him, for me it was great, but for him it was probably very tiring. So I was like, okay, okay, you did a great job. You deserve the best treatment ever. And uh, uh, he saved me a bunch of hustle. That way I didn't have to go through all this touching and I wouldn't cry and I wouldn't be um, like uh, feeling uncomfortable and all, because it's all, LA to Tucson. I can't believe how hard it is to fly domestically, which is internationally I would expect to fly hard. Not domestically. No, it's just the opposite. They make it uh, take off your shoes. They make you not just go through x-ray, but they make you to lift up your arms and you, they go through all your like arms and armpits and all the hug. That's like just outrageous. I would say it's like the worst ex experience I never, I ever had. And there's a girl who does that to me every time. He kind of pulls me out of the crowd. I don't know what's up with that. He pulls me out of the crowd and like, come here. And it's that specific, specific officer. I know her from back there. I, when I see her, I start shaking. It's like, it's like a harassment to me. And uh, she probably feels that. And I was like, every time I come and I smile at you and I'm like, I'm a good person. I'm not having anything with me. I'm not carrying any prohibited items. Just stop harassing me. No, she kind of feels that it's for me awful the touches. And then, you know, she still does it anyways. So I was like breaking down to tears, telling to my boyfriend, okay, if you meet me at the airport, I ditched all those days, like 13th of November, 29th of May, and 28th of January, I didn't come back here, but you gotta meet me at the airport, there's no other way around it, I can't do that, can't go through this um, touching of that girl, it like, feels like exactly like a harassment, so, uh, and he said, okay, he said, okay, okay, I'll bring you home. And I was like, oh my gosh, he's such a good guy, he's such an awesome, awesome guy. And I see, I, 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 I sat at his car, 
who looted his car. He even rented a car. Jeez, you guys, so much money. And um, I sat at his car for eight hours and eight hours he was driving. And before he was previously driving eight hours straight from the very early in the morning, not anybody would do it for you. It like, takes a bunch of effort. Um, it's a great loving guy, amazing person. And um, so that way I got here hustle free. I was absolutely happy. I slept in the car here and there in the back seat. So that was awesome. And I don't want to go through that customs anywhere soon or anywhere at all. Tucson to LA, LA to Tucson. It's absolutely horrible. Oh gosh, what they do in Russia, it's not even closer. They don't search you. They don't make you take off the shoes or anything. And that matter, they look at you. They can tell right away if you're dangerous or not, if you're carrying anything dangerous or not. They just like passing, um, passing you through that security. There's X-ray, nobody's touching you, and it's even prohibited. You, they, you can sue them for harassment if you, if they try to touch you. God forbid. It's awful. I mean, officers can, but nobody would. It's not the way it has to go. So and I, I'm so glad that my boyfriend understood me, and he was uh, very, very compassion and he wanted me eventually to get here after all this tries all this many many months of trying to get here he was uh, really nice and compassion picked me up at the airport and everything was absolutely amazing and I got to see LA a little bit and uh, so now I would say it's a finished look it's more finished look than before I'm gonna go outside set it for to dry out on the sun and uh, like I said this uh, beads would go as a seconds like tin 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 if I would have longer handles I would probably do longer handles because you can barely see the clock uh, okay gonna go uh, I gonna go ahead and dry it out and then uh, take this off place another hands on it and make another video for you Thank you so much for watching, guys. Love you all, crafters. Bye.